we are going to use Analog Devices Visual DSP++ um, in order to compile it. <clears throat> uh, so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and open up Visual DSP. And then from there, we are going, once this loads, we are going to click File, and then Open, and then Project Group. So we're going to find the software in the Fusion tree and that is from Fusion folder and then Demos, then InstaVoip, then Module and then we select DPG and then we click Open. We'll let that load. Okay, it's done loading. The second step is to ensure that these two guys up here, the first one, these active projects, is Simple Phone, and the second one is on Debug. From there, we'll make sure that Simple Phone is selected in the project window, and we will select Project up at the top, and then Build Project, and we'll let it do its thing. Unicoi release creator tags a LDR file with headers and a checksum, creating a bin file which the bootloader is capable of verifying and booting. It also supports compression, which both saves space and flash memory, and also speeds booting. The release creator must be downloaded separately and is a command line program. So the first thing we're going to do to make it easy is we're going to make a folder in our C drive. It's, this is going to be called a working folder. So let's go to our C drive. We will create a new file. And we are going to call it boot image. Enter. And now we are going to want to navigate to a new, to our file in the fusion tree. So we will go to Fusion, Demos, and Savoip, Module, and Debug. And in here, we will copy the Simple Phone LDR file. We'll go to this window, and we'll go into our working folder, and paste it. Next we're going to want to get the Unicoise release creator.exe. So we will go back to our fusion tree and we'll go in fusion and ref designs tools Unicoi release creator and bin. We'll go ahead and copy the exe file. Go back to our working folder and we'll go ahead and paste it. Next thing we're going to want to do is open a command prompt. And in the command prompt, we are going to want to open our boot image file. So we're going to do cd slash boot image. The next thing we're going to want to type is Unicoi Release Creator Manx and simple underscore phone dot LDR and hit enter. And what we've done is we've just created a bin file. So we'll go ahead and minimize this and if you look in our working folder 
boot image, we actually have a bin file that's been created. So here, we're going to want to take that bin file that we made and we are going to want to load it onto our module. So we will start the TerraTerm terminal emulator and we will do the little things that we need to do. Okay, set up serial 115200, hit OK. And we're going to want to hit enter, we're going to want to, now we'll go ahead and reset the board and hit enter within the two second period. The next thing we'll do is we will type in load zero and hit enter. And this is going to erase the image that's on there right now. It's going to erase the flash memory. So we'll let this finish. Now we want to transfer the bin file. So we will go to file, transfer, Y modem, and send. And what we'll want to do is go back to our working folder, the boot image folder, and we will select our bin file and click open. When this is done, in order to know that it is working, you are going to want to see check some past. There you go. And, uh, in order to check it and confirm that this is true, we can type in verify space zero and hit enter. And the check sum passed again. So in order to boot the binary image, we'll go ahead and reset the development board. And there you go. We have our new binary image on the board. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit unicoi.com slash instantboy.